What's up, Passive Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia, and this is a low impact cardio workout. There's no equipment required for today's routine, but you may want to have a pair of light hand weights or water bottles for some added resistance. You can follow along with me for the standard moves, and you can follow me for the easier modifications, which are especially important for me because I'm currently pregnant. If you're ready to go, let's begin. We're going to begin today's routine with a warm up. Our first move is specifically going to warm up our back and our shoulders. It's called a high low rope pull. So feet are shoulder width apart, a little bend in our knees. I'm going to reach up with my right arm. I'm going to grab that imaginary rope, pull it down from my elbow, left arm, grab that rope, pull it down. Now I'm going to grab my low rope, pull, pull. So it's four pulls, one pull, two, three, Four. So it almost gets into a little dance sequence here. And on every one of your pulls, I want you to get a nice full range of motion where you're really reaching out and extending, feeling that back stretch. And then when you pull, we are pulling back from our elbow. So it's almost like you have a string attached to that elbow and you're pulling back on that string, breathing throughout. And when we get to that low pull, a little bend in your knees, sitting back, warming up our legs at the same time and this is our warm-up so we're moving at a pace it's going to get our heart rates up but not a crazy pace we'll save that for the actual workout this one's warming up your back your shoulders little chest even your legs and core getting involved here let's do this one for 10 more seconds for five four Three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, next up, we're gonna do an opposite side toe touch. Let's start by getting those feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Arms are straight up overhead. I'm gonna bend my knees, hinge at my hips, take my right hand. I'm gonna bring mine all the way down to my left toe and back up. And I'm gonna come down and touch my knee. So you decide which depth is appropriate for you. Maybe coming all the way down to the floor is appropriate. Maybe the knee is appropriate. Maybe somewhere in between, like your shin is appropriate. But I want you to hinge at those hips, pushing that butt back, getting a stretch in your hamstrings and glutes on this one. This one is a nice dynamic warm up for that posterior chain, which is a fancy way of saying that whole backside, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, upper back. Try to keep your head in line with your spine. We're not rounding at our back here. And we are breathing. Purpose of today's warm up is to elevate your overall body temperature and get your heart rate up. And you'll notice these are also some sneaky mobility, flexibility drills. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, one more here in our warm up. We're going to move on to a march in place. So I'm going to take my opposite arm and leg. Left arm comes up, right knee comes up, and alternate. Nice, light, soft ground touches. Not a race, just a warm up. Elbows are at a 90 degree angle. And you bring up your knees as high as you feel comfortable doing so. If you feel comfortable getting that thigh or quad all the way up until it's parallel to the floor, that's great. If you feel more comfortable with it lower, that's cool too. We're gonna encourage you throughout today's routine to make this workout work for you. No two bodies are the same and nobody knows your body better than you do. So we encourage you to modify it to work for you. We wanna stay healthy so we can come back and do it again, right Claudia? That's right. Getting that heart rate up, not much left here. Make sure those arms are working. Opposite arm and leg. 
for five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that's it. That's it. All right, you ready, Claudia? I'm ready. You ready out there, Has Fit Tribe? Let's move into our low impact cardio workout. So a few of these moves today are not only gonna work our bodies, but our brain a little <laughs> bit at the same time. Yes, they which are. Which we learned during rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> so this next move or first move is one of those moves. It's called a cross body punch. We're gonna give you a few different variations here. So my variation is a little more dynamic. I'm gonna perform almost like a lateral juke where I'm stepping out and I'm switching my middle foot. I have my, I started with my feet together and as I go side to side, if I step out with my left, I'm gonna punch with my right. Come back to the middle, step out with my right, punch with my left. And then you'll just get into a nice little rhythm with it. So we're doing very similar moves. Mine's a little more dynamic because I'm actually having a little bit of a jump hop step here in between. You decide if you feel more comfortable with my variation or if you feel more comfortable always having both feet on the ground. So again, you decide what's right for you. And don't feel like any of these moves today have to be perfect. We're not perfect, you're gonna see that. But what's important is that you give it your all and you keep showing up, keep putting in that work and every day you'll get a little closer to your goals. Remember to breathe throughout the movement, exhale as you punch. This one's working your shoulders, your back, your chest, abs, and your lower body. Nice little total body move. Of course your brain too, right? You probably already found that out. <laughs> Gotta really think about these moves as you're performing them. We're doing this one for 10 more seconds. Almost there, come on. You got it. For three. Two, one, zero, excellent. This next one's gonna be an overhead arm swing plus two step backs. And I'm gonna add a lunge on my third one, you'll see. So we're gonna start with our feet together, hands are at our side. I'm gonna step back with my right leg, both straight arms come up, return back down. Now left leg steps back, return. Claudia's gonna keep that up. On my third one, I'm gonna drop down into a reverse lunge. So I'm going one, two on the third one. Drop down to both knees are at a 90. And again, you'll notice on Claudia's variation, she's skipping the reverse lunge. You decide which one of these is best for you today. Keeping those arms straight, full overhead extension. Yep, bringing those biceps by our ears. And if you are doing that reverse lunge, you're trying to drop until both knees get to a 90 but we're not bouncing that back knee off the floor. This one's gonna work your lats, your shoulders, your quads, your glutes, hamstrings, all of the above here. Another one of those moves, working that mind-body connection. Very good. And we don't have much left. Let's do this one for 10 more seconds. Making sure to breathe, don't hold that breath. For three, Two, one, zero. Next Ooh. up, we have a high, low punch for you. We're gonna start with our feet together. Hands are at my chin. I'm gonna punch one, two high. One, two. Now I'm gonna squat back and punch one, two, low. High, low. What's different about yours, Claudia? Mine is, I'm not squatting to the depth that Coach Kozak is squatting. So pick a squat depth that feels comfortable to you where you're keeping good form. That's it, you decide how much you wanna get your legs involved in this one. I'm gonna really almost perform a full squat on every one where I'm sitting back, weighting my hips, keeping my feet flat. Where Claudia is this more like a quarter squat. But don't get it twisted. On the quarter squats, you're still gonna feel that burn in your quad. That's it. We don't have, uh, her version isn't easy, it's easier, if you will, right? Both of these versions are gonna get a great workout today. Making sure to breathe. This one's working your chest, your shoulders, your whole lower body and your abs. Again, a lot of compound moves today. Working multiple muscle groups at the same time. Only have 10 more seconds here. Fighting to the end, folks. Let's go. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Nice work. 
Up next, we have an upper lower body combo move for you. It is an arm crossover plus butt kick. Let's start with both arms out at her side. I'm gonna cross my arms over and simultaneously bring my right heel to my glute. Arms go back, left leg. So alternating between right and left legs on this one. And ideally, we're changing up which arm is on top on that arm crossover. Big stretch with our chest, getting our back involved, and then bringing that heel as far back to your glutes as you can. This one's working our quadriceps, our hamstrings, glutes, shoulders, chest, back, all at the same time here. Maybe a little mind-body connection, right? Oh, totally. Both working at the same time. Everything has to work together to make this one happen. As you get used to the movement, maybe pick up the pace a little bit. That's it, if you're feeling good, here comes a little dance move. <laughs> Not that I know anything about dance moves. You can ask my wife, she'll tell you how good my dance moves are. How good are Coach Kozak's dance moves, Claudia? Silence is deafening, y'all. Uh, I'm just gonna say no comment on that. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a little better at exercise than I am at dancing. Yeah, I mean, kickboxing rhythm, you got it. Uh, right? Dancing rhythm. Mm, not so much, not which so is why much. you will never see a Coach Kozak Zumba video. Zumba video. <laughs> and if you did, it would be comedy. We have 10 more seconds left on this one, everybody. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold that breath. We have five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, so this is the first one for today that we're gonna pick up our hand weights. Again, you can pick up your hand weights on really any of these moves today. The first one we're gonna do so. Mine are a little bit heavier. Claudia, what do you have? Got me some water bottles here. Next up, we're moving into a dumbbell curl plus a run in place. So those palms stay up, just hinging at our elbows, getting those biceps going, and then nice light ground touches, bringing the feet just up off the ground, and it's hot feet time. Getting as many little soft ground touches in as you can, keeping good posture, and again, both upper body and lower body all working here. You have neighbors underneath that we don't want them to hear you. So again, pretend you're a bouncy ball and not a rock. That's right. We're turning that energy back into the floor. This one's gonna work your calves, hamstrings, quadriceps, forearms, biceps, all at the same time. Come on, push, pushing yourself right here. Remembering to breathe through the movement. That's it, no holding your breath. We're gonna keep reminding you that because it's so very important. And it's so very easy to do. I know, so easy to forget that is. Yep. Yeah, definitely. All right, here we go. As many as you can, last 10 seconds. Let's go, Hester Tribe. How many can you get? Push it, push it. Run it out, run it out, let's go. Dig deep for three, two, one. All right, we are gonna set our hand weights down for this one. A couple different variations. I'm going to do a squat plus power clap. I'm gonna do a squat plus a low kick. So both of us have our feet shoulder width apart, breaking at our hips, sitting back. So there's our squat. And as I stand up, I'm gonna bring my knee up and clap under that leg. And I'm gonna do a low kick with my right leg, squat down, low kick with my left leg, and switch. So whichever of these two moves you feel more comfortable with, mine's definitely a little more dynamic, still low impact but definitely requires a little more effort. And of course, we want you to maintain a squat depth that you are comfortable with that helps you maintain good form. Making sure on that squat that we're keeping our balance through our midfoot, you're not falling back onto your heels and you're not falling forward onto your toes. So but as if you're, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No. <laughs> so as if you're. So as if you're just sitting down into a chair. That's it. So if you're here, that's fine. Do what you can. Making sure to breathe on this one. We want to inhale on the way down and then exhale as we come up and we're starting to feel those legs. Oh my goodness. It's working. We're feeling it too. Last 10 seconds. You got to keep pushing the pace. Moving at that pace is going to challenge you Ooh. for three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. 
Next up, we have a seesaw row. And if you're using hand weights, now's the time to pick them up. This one's definitely a little extra intensity with some extra resistance. Feet shoulder width apart, little bend in our knees. We're bending over on a 45 degree angle, back is straight. I'm gonna pull back from my right elbow. And then as I extend my right arm back down, my left pulls. So right, left, alternating pulls. Back is straight throughout. Don't round it. Keep those shoulders retracted. Nice base in your legs. And we're pulling back as fast as we can. This one's all about speed. Again, maybe some light resistance. Not, it's not a strength workout though, so we don't want heavy resistance. This one's gonna work your shoulders, your upper back, even your legs just to maintain this position and your core. Remembering to breathe throughout the entire movement. Get a nice little rhythm going. Ooh, keep your core nice and engaged. That will help you keep maintaining good posture in your back as well. And your head stays in line with your spine, so you shouldn't have that neck cranked up looking at the screen. Once you get it, keep a nice straight line from your head all the way down your back. That's it, getting as many as you can right here. And again, don't feel like you have to keep up with Claudia and I. You are not in competition with us. You are in competition with yourself, trying to get a little bit better every day. That's the name of the game. 10 more seconds here. So close for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Oh my goodness. Let's give those a break. No hand weights needed for the next one. We're moving into what's called a rainbow skater. So I'm gonna step to my, sorry, my feet together. I'm gonna step to my right, big step. Arms are gonna come up overhead. <laughs> left foot comes behind. Now step to my left, right foot comes behind. So I'm coming right to left. So gliding through and your arms create this nice circular rainbow, All right? That's where the rainbow skater comes in. It's a little flow here. And to be completely honest, everybody's is probably gonna look a little bit different. It's a great lateral move, very functional move. We need to practice being able to move side to side, not just forward and back, because that's what our everyday life demands of us. So you're gonna notice a lot of functional moves in today's routine. Not just moves that are gonna get us in good physical condition, but ones that are gonna help us kick butt at life too. That's it, come on. One in the next here. This one's working our shoulders, our chest, back, abs, calves, quadriceps, a little bit of everything getting hit here. Our rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> and rhythm. Well, maybe yours, not so much mine. I think I'm beyond that point of help. Not much left. Let's go 10 more seconds, tribe. How many can you get right here? Pushing yourself because nobody else is gonna do it for you for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, All right. goodness. We are both gonna pick up our light hand weights for this next one. We are gonna do a step back and punch. Let's start with our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna bring our hands up by our chin in that rack position. I'm gonna step back with my right leg and at the same time punch with my right. Step back with my left punch with my left. You got it here. That's it. Again, you decide if the extra resistance is appropriate for you. If your shoulders are already on fire, hey, just buy a body weight punch is probably great for you. You decide which is best. We're stepping back, keeping a nice bend in both knees. Don't wanna lock out either leg. Nice and dynamic here. Again, getting that heart rate up. Moving at a pace that's comfortable for you. That's it. Come on, one into the next drive. You got it. Pushing through, starting to burn a little bit. We're starting to feel it. My shoulders are feeling it, goodness. Ooh. We're gonna get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Keep moving, let's go. That's where that improvement's gonna come from. That's where our results are gonna come from. I want you to think about what it is that brought you here today. What is it? What's that why? You know, it's that time of the workout. Coach Kozak reminds you, <laughs> why are we here? Why are we working so hard? Don't let yourself forget you have goals. You have things you're working towards. Maybe you're trying to lose weight, get stronger, get more fit. Maybe you want to be able to pick up your kids or grandkids without throwing out your back. Whatever it is, everybody's different. 
latch onto that Y and do not forget it throughout this routine. You have 10 more seconds. That's it, Tribe, come on. That's it, 10 seconds. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice job. And that is it. Nice work, Claudia. Nice work to you and you. Nice work out there, HasFit Tribe. It is time for our cool down. And the purpose of our cool down today is to allow our heart rates to come down nice and slowly. And at the same time, this is time of the workout where we get some added mobility, flexibility, stretching in. On that note, our first one is gonna be a one leg hip hinge hand start on our hips. I'm gonna put my right straight leg out on that heel, a little bend in that back leg, and I'm gonna bend over, hinge at my hips, putting that, uh, almost like I'm driving my hips to the wall behind me, and I'm just gonna hold here. So the depth that you go down is gonna be completely dependent on your flexibility level. We wanna feel a good stretch in that whole back leg, but you, you wanna be able to maintain a nice flat back. Right, so your range of motion may just be right here. That's it. So don't sacrifice and be like, oh, look how far out, down I am. Oh, well, your back's all rounded, so that's not working. <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. Now we wanna feel that good stretch in our hamstring, calf, glute. I got a lot of work today and we're just holding here. Big deep breaths for five, four, three, two, one, up nice and slowly. Same thing on the opposite side now. Very good, nice straight leg. And then again, sitting back into it, back stays straight, head stays in line with that spine the best that you can. And again, feeling that stretch all down that leg. And you may even feel that one side is tighter than the other. Maybe you can go a little further down on your left side, but not your right, and that's completely normal. And this is what we would consider a static stretch. So we're sitting here holding. Anytime we do a static stretch, we're gonna to get to about 85, 90% of our full range of motion. We wanna feel a good stretch, but don't force it where you're feeling pain. And three, two, one. Come on up nice and slowly. Next up, we have a bent over rotation. Let's start with our feet, shoulder width apart, bend on our knees. Breaking at those hips, we're gonna bend over in a 45 degree angle. Arms are straight down. Now I'm gonna take my right arm, I'm gonna rotate to my right side and keep my hands or my eyes on that hand. Now I'll return back to square. Same thing with the left arm, keeping my eyes on that left hand as it rotates up and return back down. Not a race on this one. Nice and controlled. We definitely don't want you to get dizzy and lose your balance. So just go at a pace that's comfortable for you and open up at a, as a, at a pace uh, that's comfortable for you as well. You might find that you can only get about, let's say this high up and you have to return back down. That's okay. We're gonna come back, repeat this routine, keep getting better. And every time you perform this move, you have to rotate just a little bit more. This one is gonna stretch your chest, shoulders, back, that mid back and thoracic spine. Great compound stretch here. Our shoulders got a lot of work in today. This is a great one to help restore them. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Speaking of getting a lot of work in today, our quads definitely got a lot of work in today. Next up, we're gonna do a standing quad stretch. I'm gonna pull out a chair for this one just to help with my balance. And so from my variation, I'm gonna do it on my own. You decide what's most appropriate for you. We're both gonna reach back, grab our right foot or ankle, keep that knee in close to our side. And just to help me keep balance, I'm gonna put my opposite arm up. What is it, Claudia, you always say about finding a focal point? Find a focal point so you don't lose your balance. Well, it helps you maintain your balance. That's it, and so what does that mean? So if you feel a little shaky, it just really helps you focus and concentrate on one particular stationary item. That's it, so just put your eyes, lock them on one thing. Don't be looking around the room right now. Try your best to keep that knee in tight to your side. And we're just holding here. Big deep breaths for three, two, one, and relax. Very good. All right, same move, opposite leg now. Again, reaching back. And if you can't quite reach that foot or ankle, you can grab a towel, a band, Something to help you grab onto on this one. Big deep breaths 
And again, don't be alarmed if one side's a little tighter than the other. Completely normal. Mine actually vary from side to side just during the course of a week, depending on the workouts that I've had. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Next up, we are going to do a hands behind the head chest stretch. So as the name implies, I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna place them behind my head. Now with good posture, I'm gonna pull back on my elbows. I almost want you to pretend like maybe I'm behind you and I gently pulling back on your elbows, right? So pulling them back, opening that chest and shoulders up, sternum comes forward, keeping good posture. And again, this is just a static stretch that we're just gonna hold here. A few more deep breaths. <sighs> and a moment of encouragement for me to remind you how awesome you are for showing up and putting in the work today. A million things you could have done, but instead you showed up, you got your workout in, and you should be proud of yourself for it. Let's hold this one for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it. That's a wrap. Shake it loose. Shake it, shake it. And we're feeling good. We are so grateful that you decided to come work out with us today. Thank you so much for that. And did you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete exercise program? Those programs can be found on our HESFIT app, which you can download onto your iPhone or Android. But you can also find those programs on HESFIT.com. You can also stop by our store, pick up a HazFit shirt or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channels. I'm Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.